Hey guys, Duke of Jamming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to port forward your TalkTalk Talk router that is Huawei Make. And so this will work for most TalkTalk Talk routers that are Huawei, and definitely I think the Echo Life series. And so a lot of, I'm just warning you now, a lot of the stuff in here you're not going to be able to see because it's private. Um, because, and I recommend that if you ever made a video like this or you were uh, giving out this information you only give it out to people you trust because there is a risk that you can be hacked with this information if you let other people know about it okay so I'm just gonna basically show you most of what you need to see so um, first of all you wanna go to your Wi-Fi or internet icon and right click on it Open Network and Sharing Center. You can also do this through programs like Specky. You're going to want to click on Local Area Connection. I have a second one of these down here just because of the way my home network is set up. You're going to want to whack Details. And then all my values are going to be hidden here, but you want to go to your default gateway and it will be your IPv4 default gateway. And so I've got two of these, but that's just the way I've set it up again. You you should only have one. So you want to go to your default gateway. So the way you do that, and this is how to control your router. So basically, you're going to want to, I'll show you that website in a second. Okay, so what you want to do is you are going to want to go to your default browser you're going to want to go here and you're going to want to type in your default gateway which is going to be now hidden right so here it says your router model it says it's Hawaii or who are we and so you're going to want to put in your username and password you can sometimes get them from this website called portforward.com um, where you can put in your router model um, so mine's uh, who are we and then close the ad and then you go to the echo life series or whatever it is once the HD and then you can just select say um, a game or an application application like Gary's mod or Minecraft and that is how you put forward them uh, well it, that will give you a guide but I'm gonna give you a different guide and so also here you have your external IP uh, which is what you need to give out to your friends if you want them to be able to connect uh, again you're going to want to only tell people you're trusted unless you're hosting a huge server sort of thing that, and on a PC that you don't really mind if it gets hacked a bit uh, so that's what you want to do there um, and so it will also often tell you the, use, the default username and password but if not that will probably be located either on the back of your router or in the packaging you got with your router. Okay, so I'm just going to log in. The username and password you I've got, and again all this stuff you won't be able to see because it's private. And so you want to go to advanced. Don't worry about the warning. You want to click advanced again. Go to NAT, and then going to, to port mapping. And then once you're in there, I'm going to just quickly remove ticket slash Minecraft my port forwarding, and I'm going to just do that again okay so you want to click new here and then you want to say make your mapping name so I'm gonna say tech it slash minecraft and then my internal port so the default port for minecraft will be tell told to you on portfold.com and other applications you can look on there and it will tell you so that's what you want to set here and then you want to put in your internal host which is your IPv4 address which we told you what how to do that in um, the TechIt Classic server setup video so again it's a very similar thing to when we found your default gateway it's in the same um, sort of window as that so if you navigate to where you found your default gateway also in there it will be IPv4 address that is what you want to put in here so I'm just going to put mine in you won't be able to see that but yeah and so say you had a different port to the default applications port 
what you're going to want to do is in the applications launcher or wherever it is you're going to want to make sure that if you launch it on a different port you in there in the config you're also going to have to change it here so you have to change it internally and externally well you don't have to change it externally but yeah and so then your IP address uh, so to give them it to let them onto the server it would be your external IP address full colon whatever the port is and so that's how they would connect then so we're just gonna submit for now you can do the application method but I haven't used that much because it's quite complicated and yeah remote host we're not going to get into oh and one more thing that you need to make sure you do that I've actually forgotten make sure the protocol is TCP slash UDP you want to select this for all of your applications if it's available if not just make two duplicate port forwardings with both of them with uh, so I'd make one that's that and just rename this to say UDP or TCP yeah and then I submit that and then I make another one that's exactly the same as this the only difference is TCP and I just say that's TCP and then it would work okay so now we're gonna just submit that and now you've successfully port forwarded your server so that is it from me today guys and I will see you all later bye